Well, you're talking about the party in Ottawa. Dylan and oh, I, right. my roommate, yep. when I was in uh, when I was in third year university. Probably uh, the best weekend, most eventful weekend. Yeah. Uh, I even had in my time in Ottawa. Yeah. Throughout university and. Um, well, because we were shouting yeah. out Cam and Will, and, and those we boys, were shouting out Cam yeah. and Will. Shout out to Cam and Will again. They're, they're good boys. And anybody else in Ottawa. Who Will, Will actually stayed with us a couple, probably a couple months ago. Well, well, over a couple. He stayed with us in the summertime, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so shout out to Will and his buddy. What was his? Jason. Buddy? Jason, yeah. Jason. I'm not shout- sure if you listened to this, but. But shout out Jason to Jason, a terrific too. guy as well. Yeah. Super hot. Jacked. Used to be in the military. <laughs> and we're into that, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, anyways. Uh, Dylan and I, my roommate in when I was in third year, went up to Ottawa and stayed with Matt for a whole weekend mm-hmm. to stay with Matt and Bill and Cam, mm-hmm. and we perhaps had one of the most eventful weekends yeah. that you could ever have. So, now, let me just preface this. So, we, I think we went up on a Thursday night, and from Waterloo, it was like a seven, eight hour bus, like by Greyhound. So, Dylan and I took edibles. On the bus, we left Thursday afternoon, got there Thursday night, if anything, early Friday morning, like, you're talking, like, midnight, 1 a.m. It was, like, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think it was about 1, 1.30 sure. when you guys showed up. Yeah, sure. So, so it, it was, like, a 7, 8-hour bus ride that we hit, and we took uh, edible edibles on the way. We had some cookies, and I just remember, like, looking out the bus window, like, wow, this is, wow, oh, my gosh. <laughs> And we're then, on a bus right now. Oh my god, this is this is a bus and we're doing edibles on it. Wow. Um and uh we get to Ottawa and Matt had an itinerary for it, an itinerary for us which was terrific. Yeah, it aligned perfectly with a lot of things that were happening. We had the uh you guys got there the Friday night. This uh what did, what did you well, we, Friday we got or there, Thursday? Well, we, Friday got, morning. We, we got there the Thursday, the Thursday night, night Friday, 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 early morning, morning 1 a.m. Yeah. 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 So the Friday night, the following night that they got there, there was a uh, big uh, hockey game, Carlton versus U Ottawa, called the Colonel By Classic. Mm-hmm. They played that at the, uh, at the TD Place played. Arena, where the well, Ottawa the 67s, 67s play. Yeah. The Panda Bowl, that's the football one. That's right? the football game, yeah. yeah. But it's basically uh, equivalent. Equivalent, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Not, as, not nearly as hyped. Um, and is intense, but uh, still a fun time. And then uh, the Saturday, I believe uh, one of my friends was hosting a party because it was somebody's birthday, I think. So there was a big party going on that weekend, and so we had a good uh, itinerary lined up for him. So we weren't just stuck doing nothing. But yeah, go on. Uh. Well, I feel like there was there was a did we did we hit the hockey game and then go to the club and come back afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just I. Yeah, we went to, so we hit the hockey. Because that, you guys were, I'm pretty sure you guys were still, like you weren't 19 yet. At least you weren't. Well, Dylan wasn't. Or Dill wasn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dylan maybe wasn't, but yeah, we went to Quebec and we went to this club slash bar. Yeah, um, which I had never even been to. Like, I'd been to Quebec a million times, but there's like this main strip with like a few bars on it that everybody would always go to, but we kind of wandered off because the main bars were packed. We didn't want to wait in line, so we kind of wandered off down a side street and found this other place. But anyway, yeah, so they show up on uh, the Thursday night, and they did edibles on the bus. I ended up taking whatever they had left when mm-hmm. they got there as well, when mm-hmm. they got to my house. I, mean, I remember, like, it them taking, like, probably two hours to hit me, and we were, like, chilling in the living room for a little bit, and then we called it a night, and I went into my room, and I pulled my phone out, and I just started, like, floating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, they, they, it was good stuff. Then we went, then we hit the hockey game the next the next day. Yeah, and some guy uh, Carlton lost four three I believe was the score. Tight game. Tight game. It was fun. Uh, Carlton lost. I already fucking said that. Um, as after they lost, some guy comes down and flashes his ass to the. If you're uh, trying to see the photo team. on Instagram, yeah, yeah, follow Matt. What's your Instagram? Matt name? Fenerty on Instagram. Um, it is a photo of this guy. He runs down from the top section, in the top row. And sits on the railing, close to the ice, and uh, the U Ottawa team is celebrating at their net. And uh, this guy just sits on the railing, bare ass out, and he turns over and he f- just is flipping off the the uh, team as they're celebrating. And actually, my friend Dan, uh, Dan Robertson, yep. Robertson, shout out to Dan. Uh, 
Dan the Man. He was actually a, a photographer, uh, I believe, for the Charlatan, the Carlton newspaper yeah. at the time, and he was <laughs> the he Charl was Charlatan. The, it was yeah. the Charlatan, yeah. Wow. Um, and uh, he actually was able to snap a photo of the guy sitting. This is the photo that's on my Instagram uh, of the guy sitting on the railing with his ass out, flipping, flipping off the ice, flipping off the, off the Ottawa team, and you can see myself, DJ, and Dylan in the background of the photo, pointing at the just guy on the it. railing, that's just so perfect, loving every yeah. minute of it. It's yeah. a great, great experience. Well, that was a great moment. I, yeah, I remember seeing that and just being in shock. You know, this is incredible. And then after the game, we went to that club that you described earlier. You know, we were looking around. We went to what's it called, Gatineau or Hall. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Whatever, the same yeah. thing. And we found this club, uh, and we had a good time at the club. Um, you know, classic night. Um, and then the next day, there was a party lined up. Yep. At one of Matt's buddies' places, and I remember before we went, one of Matt's roommates, Cam, and hopefully he's listening to this because, you know, you gotta love Cam, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you just have to hopefully. I mean, when he's listening to this, hopefully he agrees with this because. Basically, he goes, yeah, you know, you don't want to get into any fights tonight. Like, just, <laughs> just, just, and, and it's funny that I'm saying this, right? Because it, for, it, it, it foreshadows what, what's going to happen. Don't, don't get in any fights tonight. Just, you know, keep it, keep it calm. <laughs> and then his other buddy, who we shouted out originally, Will. Um, is this in like a sketchy part of Ottawa or something? Or no, like, why was it like just a student no, house really, classic? Yeah, it was yeah. pretty much a stu like a, a student house area. Why, why, what was with the fight thing? Like, no, 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 no we'll, so... we'll get to it. We'll it wasn't, no, like... but like what before, beforehand, like why was he paranoid about like... Well, I just I just think he doesn't know us, oh, right? Okay, okay. And, and, he, and he might just he, be like... He just wanted to, because we were going to our friend's house, he didn't want like there to be any trouble. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, once he saw me and Dylan with the neck tattoos yeah, and all that, like yeah, he, yeah. he probably thought these guys are pretty intimidating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys sure. are both like three fifty plus. Pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Showed him the video where you bench five hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got the deadlift record five hundred two kg. Five hundred two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thor Bjornsson. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Thor who's listening to this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um. Yeah, but no, no. Any, anyways, we 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 pull up to this party and and Will. Has already been getting out. Yeah, he the didn't pre with us, I don't think, and then he met us there. Yeah, and and he had been getting after it. Yeah, really getting after it. Really, really getting after it. And this was at the time where, like, I know for myself personally, I was watching a lot of Nelk, and they were talking about full sending, right? <laughs> and I remember this moment, and Matt will remember this too. We we were just we were always saying, you just gotta send it. You just gotta full send it. And we were we were we were in the kitchen with a bunch of people. And we were like, yeah, yeah, you just got to full send it. And this one girl goes, what is, like, what does full send even mean? <laughs> and then this, this guy that we're hanging out with goes, just send it fully. Like, yeah. like, what, like what do you mean, what does full pretty send self, mean? Pretty self explanatory Just fucking send it full. Send it fully. <laughs> like, like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, and, and, like, we, I, I remember, like, hearing that just being like, wow, like, this guy's incredible. We're in the right place right now. We're in the right place. We're really feeling, we're finding the pocket well. Yeah. And then we just look over at Will, right? Matt's roommate. The guy is just reeled out of his skull. Oh, <laughs> like, like, like he, you, and he's, he's the guy that said, like, don't get into No, no, no. This, no, this no. is the other guy. Okay, this is okay, his okay, other okay, roommate. Okay. But this is the guy who didn't pre with us. But he's also the guy who's, he's, who's a classic guy. He stayed with us this, this past summer. Um, but he got drilled at this party. And he passed out on the couch, on, on one of the couches in the place. And was puking in a bowl at, like... What eleven thirty? Like, yeah, yeah. Was... Like, relatively early when he when he showed up. Like we showed up before him, and then he showed up, and he like we said before, he was already pretty much blitzed. I remember this video of him uh, playing beer pong, mm -hmm. and he was like shouting at the guy across the room, and you couldn't even understand what he was saying because he was slurring his words so much. And then, uh, so the how he got to the couch, I remember he he was in the basement. And he ended up vomiting all over the stairs at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's And then so good. we tried to, like, I guess a bunch of our friends tried to carry him outside and get him into an Uber. And uh, I remember this. I remember one of my yeah. friends telling me, "Oh, they're putting Will into an Uber," and I'm like, "Oh, what the fuck?" And like, then we I all went out there. Him. So then I, we, we all run out there, and I'm like, "They're just shoving him in the car in the back of the car, and they're just gonna let him go by himself." And he's legitimately blackout drunk. Like he will like pass out. He'll vomit all over this car. Like there's no way he doesn't even know where he is. He can. He doesn't know where he is. There's yeah. no way he can get home like in the state that he's in by himself. So I'm like, okay, I'll go with him. So I get in the car for a split second, and he immediately 
Like, as soon as they close the door for him, he just opens it back up and sticks his head out. And then the <laughs> Uber driver's like, yeah, no, I'm not taking this guy. He's yeah, done. Yeah. So then we end up carrying him back into the house, putting him on the couch, and he ends up passing out. <laughs> and puking in a bowl throughout the yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so basically, one of Matt's roommates was puking and throwing up all over the place. And then we head downstairs, okay, to the other one of Matt's roommates. Well, with the puddle of puke, that like Will's remnants on the floor, Cam on the on the main floor. Yeah. No, no. So Will pu- puked on the basement floor first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then was puking in the bowl on the main floor. Yeah. Okay, exactly. okay, okay. After, after, after we had brought him out of after the After we had brought, yeah. brought him back. Yeah. But then after we <laughs> like took Will from the basement, out, whatever, did a whole that thing. My other roommate Cam, <laughs> previously mentioned, he said he was Don't telling DJ fight. and Dylan not to start fights, not to get in a fight. Yeah. What happens is, uh, he starts a fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. He, he, he starts a fight in the basement, and I remember, like, Matt wasn't in the basement. No, no, I had no idea ne- what was going on. Neither was I. I was, like, kind of looking after Will, and I was kind of just like, okay, Yeah, yeah, exactly, and so was I, and, and Dylan, same thing. None of us were in the basement for it, but basically, it, it, we, we, we heard some, some noise coming from downstairs. Yeah. And then it came upstairs, and then it just turned into like you could see guys grabbing each other, fighting, fist fighting. There was guys People knocking on the, the door. Walls. People walls. Girls were crying. Girls were crying. Girls it, were crying. Like it was unbelievable. There was girls on the stairs, like, oh my god, I. Uh, I just, I don't know what to do, like, like yeah. this guy's, and, and people were freaking out, Oh my god! and people were knocking on the door, like, probably 10 minutes, 20 minutes after, and I don't even know why Cam started fighting these guys. No, neither do, neither do I, but, I have no idea. just to <laughs> go off what you were saying, just to, you know, encourage, or entice you a little bit, Cam, like, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, Oh, he's a big hair. guy. He, you know, yeah, he, he, he's like 180-ish, 185. For 6'3"? Um, yeah. So he's skinny. Yeah, he's average build. And who's he fighting? Uh, it, roughly, guy was I think roughly the same size as him. I'm not sure. I he was wasn't a friend of ours. He was like a friend of a, somebody else yeah, that was at the party. Someone who was at the party. And he was I, I from what I understand, he was just like chirping the entire night. So they just like kind of ganged up on him. They're like, this okay. guy's being an asshole. I'll go fight him, kind of thing. And I remember uh, specifically Cam actually uh, threw one. I don't know if it was him, but he pushed or threw somebody into the wall and put a giant yeah. hole in their drywall and had to fix it. Well, and, 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 then, and then like when they came upstairs and we realized that there was a big fight going on, I remember yeah. people knocking on the door and trying to get into the house. Like, yeah. Does, yeah. Does Cam live here? And I remember people were answering the door like, Hey, yeah. is Cam here? And people just knew that, like Cam's name. We don't know how that circulated, but it was basically like, I'm pretty Cam sure got into a- I'm pretty sure there was a party next door as well that was going on, so there might have may have been Isn't some a band, like uh, overlap, but uh, yeah, party next door, yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, they were there. <laughs> the band, party so was was the, the that, that was that was the 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 guy that Cam fought. It was the least <laughs> <of> the <laughs> the party yeah. next door. Yeah. yeah, no, no. So so I remember people knocking on the door, and Dylan and I were out there like. Oh my gosh! Like and, and these guys were like, "Where's Cam? Like, do you know Cam?" We were like, uh, "We don't know Cam." <laughs> I mean, and well, then we the one Cam. guy, the one guy, like flashed a knife or something, didn't he? To Dylan, I'm pretty sure Dylan said that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I, th- I think he had a knife, and and yeah, he flashed it, and he was like, "Like, where the hell's Cam?" And I, I remember that, and then all the girls, I remember like going back into the house, and they were like, "Oh my god, this is really scary," <laughs> and and it was just, it was a crazy, it was a crazy experience. Mm-hmm.